episode of Baron Quackers. We just got on the Skyliner, so it's probably really shaky. But we just got on the Skyliner from Hollywood Studios, and we're going to the Caribbean Beach Resort. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner and Disney's Hollywood Studios. We are on our way to Disney's Caribbean He's Beach Resort. He's getting a total kick out of this right now. Look at that. Epcot International Gateway, Disney's Pop Century Resort, and Disney's Art of Animation Resort. We hope you enjoyed your visit to Hollywood today. Now wave goodbye to your adoring fans below. Bye! <laughs> traveling over the headwaters of the Everglades. Here we go. The water that flows from the protected wetlands around Walt Disney World Resort <laughs> travels all the way to the Everglades, the Atlantic no Ocean, one. and the Say Gulf bye, of Mexico. <laughs> Look, there's cars. Say bye. So we're going to go see if we can find some gingerbread cookies. Or gingerbread. What are we looking for? <laughs> We're looking for. I think it's like a gingerbread carousel. Did you know that the entire Walt we'll Disney see. World Resort is over 40 square miles. That's about the same size as the city again. of San Francisco and double the island of Manhattan. Is this fun? <laughs> what is so funny about this? We will be arriving at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort shortly. Is it fun? All passengers must disembark and transfer at this station. Thank you, and we hope you enjoyed your visit to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. Thank you, and we hope you enjoyed your visit to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. Thank you, and we hope you enjoyed the most magical flight on Earth. And watch your step. All right, so in case you haven't heard, we're about ready to get off to catch a connecting gondola to the Caribbean Beach Resort. So we'll catch you guys on the next one. So we just got off the Skyliner here, and there's actually a couple different pods. So we came off this middle tier, and then there's one to the left and one to the right. And we actually don't have to catch a connecting one because the Caribbean Beach Resort is right ahead of us. It's either that one or this one. I don't really know. So we're just kind of wandering around until we find it. But this one here goes to the Riviera and Epcot. So maybe we'll head over to Epcot a little later on tonight, take the gondolas up and around. Excuse me, the Skyliner up and around. We're looking for a gingerbread house here at the Caribbean Beach Resort. Or is it Caribbean? It's Pirates of the Caribbean, but it's the Caribbean Beach Resort. Well, isn't that confusing? I know. It's like the same word for me. Hookums was getting a kick out of that. Yeah, he was. He was leading the way now. It is pretty out here. Jamaica, Aruba, ooh, I wanna take you to Bermuda, Bahama, come on pretty mama, Key Largo, Montego. <clears throat> they should have named one Kokomo. Where are we going? We're going to the Caribbean Beach Resort. Yeah, is it this way? I have no idea. This is Jamaica. Sure. We'll go to Jamaica.
Where are we at? Say so we're at Jamaica. Jamaica me crazy, man. So we walked through these rooms over here and we came to this lovely white sand beach with amazing waterfront, but there's a little place over here that looks kind of busy with people, so we're gonna head over there and see what we can find. Oh, and just over here, there's a bridge. So we'll probably end up taking that bridge over and see what we can find, but Old Point Royal is over here and Aruba is over here. So we're gonna go up through Aruba, I guess, and then come out into Old Point Royal, which I don't know if that's it or if it's the hotel over there. I don't know. We're kind of just exploring. So we're gonna get lost with you today. We gotta catch up with Bear. So we're here at the might, foot of the bridge. And we came up to a map. So we're here and there's actually an island that we were just looking at from our white sand beach. Are we going out to the island? Okay, it's one way, so it doesn't connect. Oh, maybe, actually, I think it does. It's a little gray right there. So we'll probably go across the island here, over to Old Port Royal, Disney Skyliner. Oh, there's another Skyliner there. That must be to get into Epcot. This must be Epcot over here somewhere. I don't know. Who knows? All right, so anyways, we're gonna head to the island. Let's go. So we just made it over to the K, and there's a bunch of people coming out. I think there's a pool maybe over here? I don't know, there's a little playground on the other side of these trees here. And then looks like some cabana huts kind of tucked off in the trees over here. You can kind of see some of them. They're like little benches. Oh, this is areas for your enjoyment from sunrise to sunset. So I guess it's just little places to kind of hang out during the day and you can come and relax and get away from people. But we're almost to our destination across the waters here. Oh yeah, and then here's the playground area. You can see it back here in the trees with the canopies for the kids. Then we have another area. Looks like just some green, a little area to run around and play. We must be near a pool. There's our beach. Oh yeah, here's some more little hammocks down here even. So yeah, it's just an island where you can come and relax, enjoy some sun. Oh, here's the pool. Let's do that again. So the Skyliners actually end right over here for the ones to get to Epcot. So you must have to catch another one to get to Epcot. Unless Epcot's like right behind this building. But I don't know. So, but we lost Bear again. I don't think she realized we stopped. Do oh. you want to tell it to the camera? So unfortunately, the gingerbread carousel is actually at the Beach Club Resort Epcot area, not here. So we're going to go and look in the lobby. We're still going to hang out, make the deal, make the best of it. There's a cool fountain over here. Ooh. Yeah. Pretty big lobby, lots of people. Of course, they're all dec decorated for Christmas. Oh, up top here they got some cool little fans. Keep the air moving, that's a cool. Q, Q, Q. Oh, she found the gift store. By the way, if you're wondering what you're getting for Christmas, it's Disney stuff. So I hope you like Disney. 
because you could end up with a Mickey shaped bar of soap. You could, or a Mickey shaped marshmallow, but it's likely going to be Mickey shaped. Mickey shaped. Or Mickey apparel. Or Mickey dishware. Or more Mickey apparel and dishware. Or maybe you just need a stuffy to remind you of Mickey. How about a Mickey backpack? What's up? Oh yeah. Little toes. Little toes. I used to bite my kids' little toes. It's got all the kingdoms in there. Now I don't even want to go near their feet. Because <laughs> there won't be any giggling going on. I'm now. So, unfortunately, we missed it on camera. But um, we were talking to this wonderful gentleman, Sean, from Iowa. Thank you if you ever watch this. Um, we were at the Caribbean Beach Resort, and he was just kind of chatting with Noah like a lot of people do. He was like playing with his toes, and um, he asked how old he was. And when he found out that his first birthday is in two weeks, which is still crazy to me, he told his co-worker, Nancy, to go grab him a button, and um, he kind of disappeared, and I didn't think anything of it because he looks like he's a higher-up manager or something. Anyway, he comes back with this wonderful sorcerer's Mickey, and he gives it to Noah for his very first Mickey from Disney World. Super sweet. I seriously was trying so hard not to cry. He was saying happy birthday. They also gave him this wonderful little button that says Noah. Whoa! Get the button. The button. Yeah, Noah loves Mickey. He keeps throwing him over, but he's like chewing on his nose. He's so sweet. So thank you to Sean. It just kind of, for me, it further cements why we moved here. The magic of Disney just drew us in. And it's little moments like these that actually happen all the time if you're nice to people. The, it, it just makes us such a wonderful, magical place. I'm trying not to cry, it was so sweet. His very first birthday gift is an awesome Sorcerer's Mickey, and that could not be a more perfect way to celebrate his birthday. What do you got? <laughs>